Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be doing Thomas TV's shell challenge that he has going on right now on his channel. So I will leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to check out, you know, him building this shell and then also talking about all of the rules and stuff like that for this challenge. But I will go over that really quickly with you guys. But yeah, this challenge is open until the 10th of January, I think. So... When on the day this video uh, this video is supposed to be going out on the eighth, so maybe you guys still have like two days or so left until this shell challenge like closes. So yeah, I will leave a link down in the description if you guys want to go check out him like talking about all of the rules and everything like that. So yeah, definitely go and check that out. But yeah, so basically in a nutshell, I guess, this challenge is a shell challenge, obviously. You get this shell and then you can't change any of the pre-existing walls. So I can go in and, you know, maybe drag out one of the walls to make it one tile bigger or smaller or add a, you know, a bump out here or there or anything like that. I couldn't change any of the walls that he's placed down. You can, however, change the wall height of the build, so I could make it medium wall height or whatever. And you can also add walls like outside of the lot. So if I had placed this on a bigger lot, which I probably should have done, if I'm being completely honest, I probably should have placed this on a little bit of a bigger lot, but I didn't. I placed it on a, I think that like, like 30 by 20, which is what he originally built it on. But yeah, if you place it on a bigger lot, you could add like a garage or a greenhouse or whatever, like near like to the outside of the lot. And you know, you can't use custom content, obviously, since he has to be able to go in and look at all of our builds. So if you use custom content, it won't show up for him. And then I believe that's basically all of the like really big rules. Don't change any of the walls. You can add roofing, obviously. Do the floor plan. You can even rotate the build if you want, you know, the front to be the back and vice versa. But yeah, that's basically all of the rules. So I decided to turn this into a regular suburban family home. And I do want to apologize if I'm a little bit all over the place, you guys. My recording, not my recording software, but my like editing software is being a complete ass right now and it keeps freezing randomly throughout the build so i have no idea where i am in the build right now with this voiceover i've already started it over once because it was doing this and i've just refused to do it again so yeah i want to get this voiceover done i don't want to keep redoing it because i know if i start doing that i'll be here all night but yeah so i have no idea where i'm actually at in the build right now so i will talk about the build here and there but i apologize if i'm talking about something and you guys either haven't seen it yet because i haven't done it or if it was like two minutes ago and you've already gone way past it so yeah apologies about that and also i'm recording this at like quarter a quarter to one in the morning and I'm recording this on Sunday night. Okay, not technically Sunday night, like Monday morning. But I slept about two hours last night. I'm kind of pre-recording my videos. No, not really for any specific reason. But the other video that went up earlier this week, the kitchen room board that I did using some custom content. I've recorded that video already. And I'm also like obviously recording this one right now. So, yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit ahead with my recordings. I don't know why. I find that it's just easier for me this way. I don't get nearly as stressed out about uploading. And, you know, I don't have to worry about getting something done right at the last minute or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm pre-recording a tiny bit. But, yeah, so basically I'm recording this super late at night. And I'm running on two hours of sleep. I like moaned about this over on twitter over the weekend but yeah i couldn't sleep for some reason earlier like saturday night so i couldn't sleep i re i got about two hours of sleep i was up all day sunday we moved actually we moved my like office we swapped my office room or like my study and my bedroom around so i now have my computer set up and everything in the bigger one of the two rooms and that's also why i want to mention like totally off topic again 
but I do want to mention that if my audio is a little bit different than you know than what it is in like normal like, than what it is normally that would be because like I said I'm recording in a brand new room it's like twice the size of the old room that I used to record in so it's a little bit bare at the moment still I don't have that much up on the walls or anything like that so if there's a little bit of an echo or it sounds a little bit different that would be why just let me know in the comments if it's like really bad or if you guys can't notice it or anything since yeah I am stressing about it a little bit I listened back to the kitchen voiceover and I couldn't personally hear anything too too bad but yeah just let me know about that but yeah so let me know about that and yeah basically I didn't get a whole like a whole lot of sleep like at all I don't even know how how I don't even know how I'm still awake and apparently I can't talk so maybe I shouldn't be still be awake still but anyway we're doing this voiceover right now because I don't want to do it at another point and yeah I'm just doing it right now but yeah basically this is a suburban family home as you guys could probably already tell from like thumbnail like title all of it and by the fact that I normally build suburban family homes but yeah I almost made this a blue suburban and I caught myself right at like right before I started on the interior and I decided you know what I don't normally use yellow so let's just use yellow for some reason I don't normally build with yellow and I normally build way too much with blue so I decided that I'm not going to use blue for the interior or the exterior I did use a little bit of blue on the inside though I kind of used it as an accent color to the yellow but most of the interior is like creamy colors creams whites and then lots of yellow everywhere so yeah it's a very bright kind of build it kind of reminds me of like a bright happy family home for some reason I I think yellow always reminds me of that though so yeah it's not really that different but yeah it's for a family of five sims so two parents or like a single parent if you just want a single parent to live here and then a toddler I didn't have a toddler boy or girl in mind or anything like that and then two children so I thought they would be twins maybe twin girls or twin boys doesn't really matter both like like all of the kids rooms and even the master bedroom are very neutral themed so even though there is quite a bit of clutter in all of them and stuff I didn't really personalize it too too much I obviously I think the kids room and the toddlers room are the rooms that I probably personalized the most and I added the most clutter to them but you know the color schemes for them are all kind of like yellows and greens and creams and whites kind of to keep with the, the rest of the house so yeah, you can have any kinds of sims living here. And then I also put in two pet food bowls, a cat litter box, a cat tree. And I think one of those cat toy boxes or like pet toy boxes. So I thought the family that lives here, since I did build it in Brindleton Bay, I thought, you know, why not you know, pretend that they have a cat or two or maybe a cat and a dog or something like that. So yeah, it's quite a big family, but I really like the way this house turned out. I did cut out quite a bit of the build as well, like the layout and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Since, obviously, I didn't build the shell. And I always find it really, really hard to do floor plans for a shell that someone else built. And it's not because I don't like the shell. I love the shell, actually. It's a really fun shape. It's just because whenever I build, I always kind of build with the floor plan in mind. So, for example, if I were to add a bump out to the house, I would, you know, think in the back of my head, oh, that could be the, like, dining room, or that could be the, you know, bathroom, or living room, or something like that. And obviously, when you're furnishing someone else's build, or like doing the layout for someone else's build, you can't really do that since they've already built the shell, and I couldn't change it. So yeah, the floor plan for this took me seven years to finish. I think I redid the whole floor plan, upstairs and downstairs, maybe like three times before I was like kind of happy with it. And I'm still not completely happy with it. I'm not really happy with that really big and awkward hallway area that we have where the stairs are. But I just couldn't find another way of making it so that you wouldn't have to walk through the like dining room to get to the kitchen. Or through the living room to get to 
the kitchen and I also wanted the living room to have windows and it was just a whole thing. But yeah, it's a two bedroom, three bath, not two bedroom, two bathroom, three bedroom house. I almost turned those around. But yeah, it's a three bedroom, two bathroom house, like I said, for five sims and there's upstairs on the landing area. I don't show me furnishing the upstairs landing area at all. But on the upstairs landing area, I included a, like, uh, not a chest table. There's a chest table in the living room. I included a desk area for your sims, so they do have a computer. And then in, on the downstairs, in the, not on the, in the downstairs living room, I can't speak for crying out loud. <laughs> but yeah, downstairs we have an, like, we have a piano for some reason. I don't know why I decided to add a piano. The living room was just big and I thought let's fill the space with something and I decided on a piano. But yeah, we have a piano, we have a chess table, so there are quite a few like skill building items on this lot. I also in like the backyard area, I add some planter boxes, so I thought maybe one of the parents are really into gardening or something like that and they plant, you know, fruits or vegetables or flowers or Whatever you wanted to have your sims plant. I don't know what you want to have your sims plant. If you even want to have them plant anything. It doesn't really matter. But yeah. So basically that's the whole build. I didn't put too much in the backyard. Besides you know. Apart from the planters. And the like regular grill table. Like regular stuff like that. I didn't have too much space anyway. I managed to fit in a toddler slide though, so I did put in something for the toddler and then I also added a swing set since, you know, we have two kids or I don't think, I don't think you'd have teenagers living in this room. It's a little bit too kid-like, maybe one teenager and one child, that could possibly work. I do add some toys, I think. Yeah, I add one of those like little doctor play sets that came with parenthood, that one. I add that, so that's the only reason why I really think there would be at least one child living here. But, you know, you could have maybe like one teen, one child, or something like that. And then, I spent forever looking through the rugs for this build for some reason. I don't know why, but we don't really have any good, like, yellow rugs for some reason. We have some of them that are... Obviously, we have the one from... from um, what's the name of the pack? Discover University. We have the one from Discover University. That's a really nice square shape. But that doesn't really always work for every like different kind of room. So yeah. I mean for this room for example it looked really weird. Even sized down it was this weird little square and the room isn't square. So that's why it didn't look right to me. So I spent forever looking for rugs for this room for... I think also for the like dining room and the parents bedroom I think as well I spent forever looking for stuff but yeah like you guys can see I spent probably the most time clustering up the kids bedrooms and yeah the parents bedroom is very neutral there's hardly any clutter or anything like that in there I figured you know the rest of the house is very child oriented so there's you know a fair few kids stuff like around the whole house so I didn't think you know, I thought maybe the parents would like their bedroom to be, you know, like a child and clutter free zone or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys like how this build turned out. I'm sorry the voiceover has been all over the place and probably out of sync like really badly with the build since like I said my editing software is being an ass. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this build. If you did, give it a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims 4 speed builds with and without custom content as well as some Sims 2 speed builds occasionally, I promise my voiceovers aren't always this chaotic. They're normally uh, quite, quite chaotic actually. I ramble quite a lot in all of my videos. But they're not normally this bad. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys want to see more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. If you do want to download this build, by the way, I should have probably mentioned this way earlier. 
but if you do want to download this build it is up on the gallery completely cc free i didn't use any custom content i didn't restrict my pack usage at all though so i probably used quite a few packs but it's up on the gallery under hashtag chrissyyt hashtag chrissyyork or you can just find it by searching for my gallery id which is chrissyyt and i'll also have in the description down below i'll have a direct download link to the online gallery website if it's easier for you guys to find it that way since i know sometimes the gallery like in game can be very glitchy sometimes it doesn't show half of the builds that are under a specific hashtag or something like that so yeah all of those relevant links and stuff to thomas's channel as well will be in the description so definitely go and check out his channel and this shell challenge video in particular if you guys are interested in participating but I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing, amazing day and I will talk to you all in my very next video. Bye guys! Presence.